Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's go explore LA. Let's go ahead and open up the gate here with the key that Woodson gave us. So, what are we looking for? We're looking for people to help. We're looking for cat litter, of course. And things. A metal storm door. Trying to kick this open would result in a lot of pain and little progress. It looks like that's inside of the shipping container. Okay, now... It I think I'm opening and closing it according to the thing at the top of the screen. It says left click to open. And now, left-click to close. Huh? I don't get it. So there's a thing inside of the shipping container, but I can't open the shipping container? Huh? Is this related to a quest or something? Can I blow it up? I mean, I guess I'll try. Okay, cool. Let's just head out. I have no idea what that's about. Alright, well, I don't have anywhere in particular to go. I guess I'm just going to head out and... See what I can find. Oh, this looks so cool. So different. All right, so Woodson wanted to test the radio contact. So I believe he's going to contact us at some point. In the meantime, um, north, south, uh, southeast, west, I have no idea. Let's go east. Ranger team, Echo 1, come in. Echo 1, do you read me? We read you loud and clear. Over. 10-4, Echo 1. Good copy on this end, too. Looks like our signal is a go. Time to start letting the locals know that the Desert Rangers are on the scene and ready to make a difference. Stand by for announcement on all channels. Attention, citizens of Los Angeles. This is the Desert Rangers. We are here to bring law to this lawless land and justice to the downtrodden. If you are in trouble, if you are persecuted or under attack, we are here to help. Our frequency is 1144. Hail us there and we will come. That is a promise. Desert Rangers out. Well, there it is, Rangers. Now we'll sit back and see who pops their head up. In the meantime, since we've got some long-range ears now, feel free to carry on with your mission. And if anybody responds to our call, I'll let you know. Santa Fe base out. Oh, six radiation, yeah. Okay, I cannot go through that. You see, children of the Citadel approaching your position, chance to run 0%. Hmm. Well, I guess I should attack then. Children of the Citadel. What in the hell are these people? Are these, these are ghouls. These are straight up ghouls. And they'll have energy weapons. Which. Or wait a minute. Well, they have pulse weapons, which is a kind of energy weapon now. Hmm. If they have similar armor thresholds in their energy weapons to the ones that I'm using, then we might be okay. Because we don't have very high armor. 
Alright. They do have a lot of hit points, though, so I need to be careful. I'm definitely going to be bursting my weapons. And I need to position my people well. Actually, you know what? Can I just skip this entire encounter? Nope! They can see very far. And they can also blow up boxes. Okay. Not bad. Let's go ahead and finish him off. Um, should I get into cover while doing so? I probably should. Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> Didn't quite get him. They have four armor. Actually, that might be usable with the energy weapon. One of their energy weapons. I'm not sure who. Um, what is your energy weapon? I, I can't select her yet. I'll wait until I get to their turns. I think one energy weapon has a threshold of four and the other a threshold of three. So the one with a threshold of three should be usable against these guys, but not the one with four. Because that does like 0 0.9 times the damage or something pathetic like that. Like Canium, just hide. I don't want to burst a guy with five hit points. That's ridiculous. Hmm. That is technically cover. Let's take it. I suppose Lexcanium can just punch this dude. Um, but he is next on the turn roster before Lexcanium gets to go again. So let's just shoot him. Cutter. Alright, so he's a melee dude, I think. Okay, so what is your gun? Um, yeah, so this has an armor threshold of 3, so that is definitely usable against these people. And is probably what I should use here. Well... Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. SMG does have a very low range. Alright, let's see how this thing does. Seventy-seven. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, they have a lot of melee people, which is good for me, because I'm pretty good at range. So I should be able to kill them before they actually get to me. And you are trapped. Wonderful. Nice. Ooh, the cutter only has a hundred hit points. I can probably kill him in one hit, if this hits. Nice.
five armor. Excellent. This thing only has an armor penetration of four, so probably should just use the energy weapon. Although, I can actually switch back and do an ambush with this. <laughs> nice. Oh man, that's a lot of XP. Hello, new things. Leather jacket. Could be cool. Ion beamer. Check those weapons out. Moon landing photo. Okay. Well, they seem to like their leather jackets. Does anyone need a leather jacket? What's everyone wearing? Um, you look pretty cool. Where's the jacket? Take a look at the photo. <laughs> the greatest hoax in history. Everyone knows Earth has no moon. Wait, what? What the hell kind of a leather jacket is that? That, <laughs> that looks like a... I don't even know what that looks like. Let's go with this. Alright, let's check this thing out. Damage, at least compared to the pulse rifle, is definitely better. Times two. Range is better, capacity is the same. Oh my god, the armor threshold is terrible! Look at that, armor threshold 6? Unless I'm misreading the armor threshold? I'm pretty sure that you want a low armor threshold, right? Don't you? I'm pretty sure you do. I think... I need to read up on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you want the enemy's armor threshold. You want your armor threshold to be lower than the enemy's armor, right? So if the armor threshold of the weapon is 6, then you want an enemy... Like, look, it says below 2.2 times damage. So you want the threshold of 6 to be below the armor of the enemy, right? It's not that you want the enemy to be be below the threshold? You want your threshold to be below the enemy? I think? I need to confirm that, I think. Anyway, I don't know, it's worth over twice the amount of the pulse rifle, so I have to assume it's really, really good compared to it, so... Sure. I'll use it. Need to get some mods on this thing. Underbarrel and scoop. Let's give it a scoop. Don't think I have any barrel attachments. What can this thing give me? Small scope, underbarrel flashlight, yeah. Broken weapon parts, yay. What can this thing give me? Quick mag. Hmm, that's new. Suppressor, long barrel. Get some pretty cool stuff from that. Of course, I'm not actually going to strip it because I intend to use it, probably. Let's see what we can get from this. Tactical scope. Interesting. Ooh. Requires seven weapon smithing. Do I have that? Yes. So it adds a hell of a lot to the maximum range and increases the optimal range. The thing I don't know about the the optimal range increase thing is I... I don't know if that just makes it so you can shoot further. Or if it actually shifts your entire optimal range up. Meaning that you're actually less effective at close ranges but more effective at far ranges. I think that's what it does. I think it shifts everything up, so I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to use this on, like, a shotgun. 
In fact, you can't use it on a shotgun, but even if you could, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to, because I think it'd be bad. It makes it so you, you can shoot further, but you also have to shoot further if you want to be in the optimal range, I think. Otherwise, it just seems kind of overpowered, so I'm pretty sure that's what it does. I should probably install that on... Yeah, let's put that on Vulture's Cries. Vulture's Cries Weapon. It's hard to say. Vulture's Cries Weapons. Let's remove the small scope. This needs a lot of attachments, actually. Given how high tier that is, what's my chance for removing it? 50% chance, okay. Alright, 38 meter range, damn. Make sure there's no loot around here. Usually there isn't. Nah, I don't think so. Congratulations. Six points? Nice. Hmm. Let's do sniper rifles. Vulture's cry. Eight points? Nice. She's doing really good on her skills. I almost think I could actually put her skills into something else, but... What? I, I really don't care about outdoorsmen. Maybe I should, though. Uh, maybe I should. It's just a convenience thing, though. That's all it really is. It really is just convenience. But now that I've lost Angela, who is kind of the outdoorsman person, I think I might want it. I mean, she's good on her three main skills. She really is. Mechanical repair is covered by Lexcanium, although I would like to replace him because he's freaking useless. But... Mm. Yeah, let's go with Outdoorsman. So maybe my next chance to run will not be 0%, but instead 10. Yay! You just reach radiation wall to the north. Over. Copy, everyone. Stop by radiation below Hollywood and Griffith Park area. Guess there's nothing to do but take your readings and get out of there until we upgrade your rad suits. Santa Fe base out. So it looks like I don't have to worry about water anymore, I guess, because we're not in the desert. It's quite nice. Gonna, gonna do a grid-like pattern here. Don't need to worry about water, so why not? Dugan's worker bots. Okay, 25% chance to run. Nope. This is the exact same map. And that thing does a lot of damage. Holy crap. 275 hit points, 7 armor? Oh god. Are you melee? You are, okay. Well, that energy weapon's gonna come in handy, because with 7 armor, I should have no problem. Yeah. Because what was the threshold? 6? Or was it 7? Might have been 7, I don't remember. Alright, we are going to burst you. Under pressure. The fuck was that, man? That was pathetic. Let's 
serious chance of friendly fire here, but I'll take it. Ah, it's not loaded! Fuck! It's actually only 3 AP to reload. I'll take it. Okay, threshold. Yeah, threshold of 6. So th this weapon is basically made for these worker bots. 78. Huh, not bad. Punch him good, like Scanium. <laughs> what is that dude doing? Nothing? I guess they're all just melee. Alright, they have a lot of armor, and I have four armor penetration with the SMG, so let's use the Mason Cannon. Yeah, these... I'm glad I have two people with energy weapons, actually, because my other weapons don't have good armor penetration against these things. Yeah, full burst. Three shots only did 75 damage. Their armor's soaking up a lot of the damage. Let's get a headshot. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't have a burst fire mode, but the good thing is, is I can shoot twice. I mean, I guess it's already kind of a burst weapon. Yeah, I'm really glad we have two people out of energy weapons. It's so weird that the energy weapons are almost completely useless early on. It's like, how are you supposed to... Like, where's your incentive to go with energy weapons? So for the first, like, 40 hours of the game, you're supposed to go with energy weapons just based on faith? Like, I hope these are useful one day. It's just weird. If you get to this point in the game and you don't have an energy weapon skill on anybody, the chance of being able to actually get good with energy weapons in any short amount of time is pretty much impossible. It's weird. They didn't drop anything. It's disappointing. Oh. What, what just happened? Like, something popped up. I don't know what that was. Was it a combat encounter? Uh, this is Echo One. Go, go ahead. Over. Ten four Echo One. Looks like we've got our first call back. Okay. Small settlement south of our base is requesting assistance dealing with strange men raiding their food supply. Proceed to location ASAP, but approach with caution. Caller reports attackers are armed, and there are casualties. Copy. Copy. Over. 10-4, Echo-1, and listen, Echo-1, you never get a second chance to make a first impression, 
so uh, don't fuck it up, alright? Send the coordinates to you now. Cerritos. Santa Fe base out. Oh, it's an encounter. You see what looks like a traveling vendor near your position. Let's investigate. I have a lot of wolf pelts. Well, they're not wolf pelts. I have a lot of mutant pooch. Uh, what the hell are they called? The, the mutant dogs. Oh, this is a cool location. Look at this. Broken bridge next to a waterfall. Hopefully this vendor doesn't have an ego trip and try to shoot me. It's kind of a big map. Is there secrets? Nothing here? Huh. You know why this map is so big? It's probably because this is a map that's also used for combat scenarios. Patrick Klempner. Patrick? That's a strange portrait for a... What the f... <laughs> I think they used the wrong portrait. Judging by not only the name, but the look of him, which is admittedly kind of hard to see because he's kind of in shadow, but uh, that does not... He does not look anything like the picture. Come and have a look. Only the very best merchandise. What are you selling? Lots and lots of drugs. Clay wizard figurine. Minus to armor, plus to perception. Hmm. Well, the minus to armor is pretty much irrelevant for anyone who's just not going to get hit in the first place, like a sniper, for example. The plus to perception, what is... That's a lot of perception, but what does that give you exactly? I'll have to check. Um, I think I'm going to buy that, though. It's not very expensive. Might as well. Don't feel like I need anything else, but let's go ahead and sell our junk. Not the condoms, not the catnip, just in case I come across a cat. Moon landing photo is kind of cool. Pet rock. Dildos, hell no. Keep my dildos. I got enough copies of the Necronomicon at this point. And the lipstick. Alright, it doesn't seem like I'm selling that much, but 20 wolf pelts is 40 pounds. Or fur, fur pelts, wolf pelts, whatever. 40, 50, so that's 56 pounds of pelts. Cool. Goodbye. How is Helen still overloaded? Oh, it's the repeater units. Uh, who has a strong back? Lexcanium. Let's give him to Lexcanium. He's got almost nothing on him. He's my pack mule. Okay, so the uh, plus two to... Uh, what was it? Plus two to what? Perception. I mean, it's just skill checks. So, that doesn't actually help you during combat. In other words, I don't think there's much of a point, now that I think about it, but oh well. It's good to have a bunch of trinkets on you, because they usually don't weigh very much, and, you know, you never know when you might need them. Okay. Go help these people out. And remember, we gotta make a good first impression. This is the... It's our first official act as rangers in L.A. So don't kill any drowning boys. Don't attempt surgery unless I'm sure I can succeed. 
Old farm woman. Old farm woman with what looks to be like... Uh, what is that? An SMG of some sort? Actually, I don't think it's an SMG. I think it's just a rifle. Expecting the Mannerites. A hard-bitten woman in overalls limps up to you cautiously. Her leg is bandaged, and she carries a shotgun. That's not a shotgun. Are you here about the fucking cyborgs? I heard you got a cyborg problem. Those metal motherfuckers. They killed my husband and shot me in the leg. A bunch of guys with robot arms and legs. They said we were under the protection of Matthias, and therefore we had to pay him a tithe. Whatever the fuck that is. Then they went out to the barn and started stealing our cows. That's when Trey and me started shooting. Unfortunately, they shot back. And fuck, they got some serious firepower. Blew poor Trey's head clean off. I limped back to the house and got on the radio. They shot up our windows, then headed south. Why would they try to steal your cows? What the hell? Alright, so they've left. I guess we gotta track them down. Uh, oh yeah, I should introduce myself. We're the Desert Rangers. Desert Rangers? Never heard of you. But if you're here to help, then I'm all, I'm all for you. The Manorites are a big help when there's trouble, but they're annoying as fuck. You've heard of Matthias? We hear him all the time. Squawking on the radio about his golden future bullshit, but we never made any kind of protection deal with his gang. They've got no right to take our cows. So where are the cows? Last time I stuck my head out, the cyborgs were herding them south. Maybe if you're quick, you can catch them. I would sure appreciate you getting our cows back. Alright, let's go. Quickly, quickly. Hold on. I want to see my updated quest. Where is it? Here it is. Stolen by the children of the Citadel. Okay. I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to assume that it's on a timer, so let's go. South, Echo south, south. This is Echo 1. Go ahead. Over. 10 4, Echo 1. We, uh. We have a visitor at Santa Fe Base. Saw the smoke from your chopper and came to have a look. I think this is someone you should meet. Come back when you're clear. Copy? Copy that. Over. 10-4, Echo 1. Santa Fe base out. Ooh. Is that where the children of the Citadel are? Los Alamitos? Ah, uh, I guess it must be. That or they went past the radiation. I doubt the cows would survive the radiation, though. So they're probably here. Why is the screen shaking? Why is the screen shaking? Is there like a T-Rex nearby? And... There's like bloody footprints or just blood stains. I don't. I, I don't know. So, something seems wrong here. I don't like this. I feel like a T-Rex is about to attack me. Oh, is it just those things? <laughs> That's it. I mean, it's pretty large, but it doesn't seem like it weighs enough to shake the very earth like an earthquake. Alright, um, it's actually not red, so I don't even need to shoot it, I guess. Hi. Whoa, stay back, humans. Do not interfere with the actions of this unit. Okay, so they're gonna shoot me if I get closer. Gotcha. Dugan. Is this the place I'm supposed to go? Is this the children of the Citadel? Wait, the Provost? Huh? Why is the Provost on the map? He's dead. The fuck? 
Hi. What? Okay. The man is grimy, bearded, and dressed in dirty overalls. He has a pack full of scrap and electronic junk beside him. And also a dog food bowl and water dish. You friendlies? Hope so, because there ain't a damn thing I can do about it if you ain't. We're friendlies. Are you? I'm cool. Name's Decker Firehawk. Uh, don't suppose you got a medic with you and maybe a dog catcher? As it just so happens, I have both. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure about a dog catcher, but I have somebody who's good with animals. Alright, well, we got a medic. What do you need? You might have noticed I got a hole in my leg the size of my leg. Could use some help getting it closed. Alright, let's do that. Is that surgery or... yeah. 62%? Hmm. Well, I mean, he's gonna die if I don't try, so... Don't fuck this up. Come on, Theodore. Come on. Come on. Gotta make a good first impression. Oh. A uh, dog catcher? Yeah, me and my two dogs, Jake and Luke, were scrap hunting in the yard out there when one of those big robots got ornery and took a swipe at me. Well, I run one way and my dogs run the other. Now I don't know where they are and I'm too banged up to go looking. I tried shaking some food in their bowl. That usually works, but they didn't come. I'm afraid they're trapped or dead or something. I'd be mighty grateful if you can go look for them for me. Plenty of good pickings out there to make it worth your while. Sure, we'll keep an eye out. Thank you, strangers. Might be able to give you a little something if you bring them back to me. Don't matter live or dead, I just want to know what happened to them. You named one of your dogs Jake? Yep. Manic Jake. But don't worry about the manic part. He's a friendly manic. Unless you're unfriendly. Luke. Cool Luke. Coolest dog I know. Nothing phased him. Not even when a few bullets started flying. Alright, so your name is Fire... Firehawk? That's a pretty badass name, Decker Firehawk. Some crazy bastard with like a... freaking hay fork stabby thing. Damn right. Family used to be pilots. Until it all went to hell. Now we're just picking scrap to make a living. Alright, what's out there? Industrial scrap. Mm-hmm. Mining these yards around here ain't easy, but it pays. What about the yards? These places have always had a pretty high risk-to-reward ratio, but the reward's been so good I keep coming back. Ever since that crazy Dugan motherfucker started sending his scavenging robots up here... Uh, up here, though, the risks have been getting out of hand. Alright, scrap. Could always use some scrap. Don't think I'm gonna find cat litter out here, but... Maybe. Ew, that doesn't look good. I'm guessing I don't want to go through that cloud of... Nasty. Yeah. Cool. Well, I mean... That really didn't do much damage. You actually could run across that. Is there a point, though? I, I don't know what's out there. Okay, well, I think we're gonna have to kill some of Dugan's robots. Hopefully that doesn't piss him off too much. I don't know. I'm gonna go looking for the dogs. What if I... Hold on. Can I hack it? Hmm, I can. Let's try. I don't. I don't know what that's gonna do. Quickly. Oh, he joined our cause. Forever. Can I overclock him? No. 
Okay, well, we have a robot friend. So if I can just reprogram all of them, then we don't even need to fight them. More moon landing photos, what the hell? Whoa, huh? Oh god, the camera broke again. Or wait, did it? The shadow just went all weird. Hold on, maybe... I, I don't know what's happening. Alright, hold on a second. Let's... Yeah, I, I think the camera broke, because those shadows don't look right. So let all these robots take their turns. So it looks like they don't like the fact that I just tried to take their scrap, and... Yes, the camera is broken. I can't move it. As you can see, when I rotate the view, it changes the shadows and stuff, but, uh... Other than that, it don't work. Okay, that's actually kind of good, because now I know to try to reprogram them before taking the scrap. Does he have his plus to computer hacking thing on? Uh, yeah, he does. <gasps> what is it? What did that do? You. Your botched attempt to hack a synth backfired, triggering its electropulsive security countermeasure. In other words, zap. Minus speed and coordination. Eh, whatever. Oh, I can't hack him now. Shit. Alright, well, this one's a little easier to hack. I'm gonna have a field of robots on my side. Do you think they're gonna follow me in between levels? Alright, well I'm gonna look for the dogs without getting the scrap, because if I don't get the scrap then they don't seem to attack me. Hey! You're back from the dead? Or are you just like cloned out of some provost vat? Yep. Pixitfus est phaeton curves of riga paterni. Cool, are you gonna follow me now? No? Can I hack you? Can I, are you an animal? Can I use my animal whisper skill on you? Alright. Bye. Weirdo. Wait, is he following me? He is following me. Okay. Well, eventually he's probably going to shoot me in the back like he did before. Doggy! Cool Luke. There you go. There you go. Alright, just gotta find the other one. Now I really don't want to get into combat, because otherwise... Cool, Luke's probably going to go down. What is that? John... Cat? Oh, it's Cat Litter, isn't it? It is Cat Litter. Eight pounds of it. Alright, that's a good start. There's Manic Jake. Okay, sweet. Let's just bring him back before anything horrible happens.
There you go. Thanks for returning my dogs to me, strangers. Here's a little something for your trouble. Okay, boys, what do you say we take another crack at it? Awesome. Well, I say we made a pretty good first impression here. Fixed up his leg wound and saved his dogs. I can ask about the dogs' names again? Why? Maybe I should just not take the scrap. I mean, I don't need to piss off the robots, but then again, there could be cat litter inside the scrap. Yeah, I probably should. Okay, well, I think we should be pretty safe at this point. Go ahead and level up. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Echo 1, graduate. Eight points, nice. Let's go with Assault Rifle. Yulia, seven points, nice. Given how much I've been using energy weapons, let's go with energy weapons. And let's take some scrap. Zero damage. His pistol can't even penetrate the armor. Alright, well our little robot friend should back us up. Yeah, seven damage. Just get away. Damn, 98 damage. These little dudes are impressive. Thank you for the backup. Was... Did I just kill, like, the head dude and they all died because he died? Or... Or maybe if you make it so that they fight for you, they, it's only, like, a limited time thing? They kind of just, like, give out after the first fight or something? I don't know. Ew. You know, every time I see a body part, I just wistfully think about Night Terror. I guess he's still taking a nap. I miss him. I want to feed him hearts and eyes. Ooh, anti-material rifle 50 cal. Holy shit. Well, let's check that out in a second. Alright, we have some outskirts full of radiation to check. So... Let's do that with one person, because we're going to have to heal him. Bleeding all over the ground? Don't worry about it, you'll be fine.
Yeah, that really doesn't do much damage. There's anything actually out here. Look at that blood stain. What the hell? Creepy. Yeah, there's nothing out there. Copy. Congratulations. Five points, not quite enough. Okay, let's check out that anti-material rifle. It does an incredible amount of damage. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> it does over double the damage. 110 to 140. Hit chance is good, critical chance is the same, damage multiplier on the crit is slightly lower, chance of jam is zero. Massive range, 40 meters, and that's the base range, not counting the uh, plus seven maximum range I can get from the high-powered scope, or the plus six I can get from the long barrel. Ten armor penetration? That thing is just meant for penetrating robots. It does take seven AP, but that's perfectly fine. Yeah, that thing's freaking amazing. The real issue, though, is actually finding 50 cal ammo. Do I have any? It says zero available. I don't even know what it looks like. Have I ever even had 50 cal ammo? Well, there's seven shots. It's not much. Why do you have so much sniper ammo? Yeah, so I have very few shots for that thing. But, uh, you know what? I think I'm actually going to put that up as an alternate weapon. So I'll just use this weapon for robots or very hard enemies. Because I might as well replace this midnight special. This thing is nearly useless. I don't have a spare high-powered scope, I believe. No, so I'm just going to temporarily plop this small scope on there. There we go. Okay. Well, that was definitely not where the cows went. Echo 1, this is Santa Fe Base, come in. This is Echo 1, go ahead, over. 10-4, Echo 1, requesting progress update on Southern Exploration. Anything to report? We were attacked by robots. Copy, Echo 1. Starting to look like they might be coming from the south. Recover any usable tech or intel. Might be useful later. Anything else? Over. Th <laughs> Their southern wall of radiation looks impassable. Copy, Echo One. The southern radiation wall blocks all access to the south. Well, those robots must be getting through somehow. Try heading west. That wall can't continue into the ocean, can it? Hmm. Probably not, I suppose. Anything else? Over. Negative. Over. 10-4, Echo One. Stay safe out there. Santa Fe base out. Well, maybe the cows did continue on down south. Not sure, but I guess the next place to go is just west, I suppose. Or back to base, because he did say that there's somebody who wants to... Somebody who I should meet. Anyway, I think that is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.